Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Unto UK's first event of 2022. My name's Katie, and if you're an Unto customer or you've been to an Unto webinar before, it will come as no surprise today that I'm joined by our sales director and director for global business development, Gary Moore, who I will introduce you to shortly. Firstly, though, just a little bit of housekeeping before we get started. Today's presentation is a technical spotlight on the new Unto ZR two shaft free shredder. We've got quite a lot of content to get through today um, so in the hope that you can learn as, as much as possible in as short a time as possible, but we still want to keep the content quite light. So we'll try and get through as much as we can, as quickly as we can, to leave plenty of time for questions at the end. You'll hopefully see a chat panel on your screen. Um, if you want to ask any questions, large or small, as the event unfolds, please type them into that panel and I will go through these at the close of the session. We've also included some videos and some infographic style content for you to enjoy in today's presentation. We've purposely chosen very visual videos because you won't hear the sound, but I will of course send all of the slides across to you after the webinar is over so that you can read, watch and listen to those again in your own time. Finally, if you lose connection at any point today, please just rejoin using the same invitation link that you received a few moments ago. But otherwise, that's all from me. I hope you find the session informative probably at times a little entertaining. And at that note, I will introduce you to our host, Gary. Katie, thank you for your introduction. Much appreciated uh, as always. Um, good morning, everyone. Uh, thank you for joining us on the kickoff uh, webinar for 2022. Um, hope you're all staying safe and definitely hoping all staying COVID safe. So uh, before we get on to today's topic, I'll best give you a quick introduction to who I am. My name is Gary Moore, and as you can see from the slide, I've gained some considerable experience in delivering the correct shredding technology and solutions to suit customers' many applications. The majority of these for the alternative fuels and waste to energy markets. With extensive knowledge of UNFA's world leading shredding technology, I am responsible for new business development and key account management, and proactively seeking out fresh project opportunities and a majority of these within the alternative fuels, waste to energy, RDF, SRF and TDF market sectors. I work alongside senior waste and recycling decision makers to, to devise best practice and client-centric shredding solutions that will achieve their business objectives. I have over 30 years, yes, 30 years now, global shredding experience. I joined UNTHA in 2015, an older director level across uh, Europe, Australasia, USA and my own base being here in the UK as sales director. Since the company was founded in 1970, UNTHA has been fulfilling its promise to be the reliable brand, meaning that every promise we make, we stand by. For our customers, this means that choosing an UNTHA system was the best decision they could have made. Some key facts. 10,000 successfully implemented shredding solutions and a number that's growing daily. 80% in-house production made in Austria. Four subsidiaries and sales in over 40 countries. 64 service and sales partners worldwide. Thousands of individually tailored adaptations to suit customer requirements. 300 highly qualified employees worldwide an absolute host of accreditations in quality, health and safety and management. And having just celebrated our 50 years anniversary um, a little over a year ago, actually at the, uh, the height of the pandemic, um, we now like to boast that we have over 50 years of shredding excellence. So let's meet the ZR. UNTHA's ZR 2400 is a fully electric, heavy duty, low speed two shaft i talk industrial primary shredder designed for high capacity volume reduction of the toughest materials considered by others and many to be unshreddable so on to today's agenda we will look at the background of the zr 2400 two shaft shredder what it does and how it works together with some application cases finishing off with some questions and hopefully with some correct answers for you. Some of you may be familiar with UNTHA UK's webinars, 
And for those of you who have attended in the past, you will recall that these events are rarely sales led. We try to use these forums to pass on knowledge, advice, and encourage conversation and innovation. But sometimes it's important we talk about the shredders. Our face-to-face -face showcase event last autumn proved that. People traveled the length and breadth of the country to see our machines in action and asked a multitude of questions about the impact our technology could have on their operations. For the benefit of people who couldn't attend, we published this short video on our social media channels just after that event. Now, you won't hear the sound today, but you will get a flavor for what we got up to. This video proved to be a hit on our social media channels, and once again, we were inundated with questions. That's why we've organized this particular webinar, to give people who didn't come to our showcase the opportunity to see what the ZR can do and ask questions without any pressure of finding yourselves in a sale or demo environment. And of course, if you want to talk further or arrange a trial at the end of this webinar, please let me know. I'll let this uh, infographic finish and then I'll continue. And I'd just like to add at this point that um, should anybody need this uh, this infographic or any of the slides that we're going to be showing and videos today, um, they will all be available uh, directly after, within 24 hours of the completion of the, uh, the webinar. So, must know ZR facts. When we think about the ZR facts you need to know, I've listed uh, just a few on the screen here. I won't read them all word for word, as you can see for yourselves. What is important to know, however, is that as with every Alpha Shredder, we've thought carefully about what this machine needs to achieve to drive change and innovation in the market. In fact, the R&D process for the ZR took 24 months. We worked hard to engineer design features specifically to address all the requirements we uncovered as part of our research. There are already many established two shaft shredders available after all on the market. The ZR therefore needed to do something different. We also conducted several rigorous prototype trials on the continent to continually refine the ZR's capabilities. So while there's nothing particularly exciting about a two shaft pre shredder in isolation, what is exciting about this powerhouse is the scope and variety of heavy duty materials it can process down to an homogeneous particle size. Its bi-directional shaft rotation also means cutters can grab, shear and liberate material in forward and reverse. In other words, the ZR is always shredding for continuous operation, however complex the material. And the energy efficient eco power drive guarantees uptime, online reliability and ease of maintenance. This combination therefore makes this a truly cost-effective pre-shredder. In fact, trials to date show it records the lowest total operating costs in its class. This is particularly important given that savvy operators are now thinking beyond the initial price tag of their machine and more about the whole life cost of the asset. So we have two cutting tables on the ZR, the 2400H and the 2400W. Different materials require different cutting systems that are designed for application specific requirements. With the H and W cutting tables, users have two different cutting systems for a range of materials at their disposal. The powerful slow running two shaft technology is extremely resistant towards unshreddables. Cutting shafts run independently of one another, ensure perfect material breakdown. 
They shred the material in both directions of rotation for a constantly high throughput. The robust eye resistance machine design of the ZR class is designed for multi-shift continuous operation. The quick change table system and the streamlined construction ensure a high level of plant availability. The cutting system allows fraction sizes of sub 90% to sub minus 300 mil. And the final throughput depends on the type of material and ranges from 10 ton to 100 ton per hour. So for the H cutting system, this is used for large throughputs and the rough shredding, again, nominally 90% to sub 300 mil of eye volume waste that is difficult to process. The cutting table and the cutting shafts are quick and easy to exchange as a unit, thereby increasing the availability of your machine. The system is easy to clean and the cutting shafts and the cutting table may be reconditioned and hard faced keeping operating cost low. The H cutting system is available both as a stationary and mobile ZR version. Materials that we can process with the H cutting system include domestic waste, bulky waste, commercial and industrial waste, waste wood, mattresses, carpets, builders and building waste, railway sleepers, and bowels and rolled goods. And onto the W cutting system, slightly different, whereas the W cutting system is used for the shredding of non-ferrous metal scrap, white goods and electronic waste. The goal is to achieve a rough material breakdown. Again, we're looking at that 90% uh, and in excess to a sub 300 mil product for downstream processes such as sorting plants. The cutting table and the cutting shafts have previously mentioned are quick and easy to exchange and use it uh, as a unit and thereby increasing the availability of the machine. The W cutting system is only available for the stationary version of the ZR class. The materials that we can process with the W cutting system include non-ferrous metal scrap and, and some of this metal scrap can include aluminium copper radiators, aluminium profiles, aluminium wheels, and all types of extrusion and aluminium sheet work. We have white goods such as dishwashers and washing machines, and we have the usual we scrap and, and electronic waste that we can process. So on to the next slide, we can look at some of the design feature highlights. And what I'm going to do is use the mouse here just to uh, just to point on some of those uh, areas that we can see and flag up some of those uh, design feature highlights for you. So we should be starting now. And I think we've got some, uh, I think we just need probably to, oh, there we are, probably the system's running a little bit slow. So what you can see here, there's typically about eight points that I'm just scrolling through there. And it shows you some of the key design features of the ZR. Um, and what you can actually do, um, you can access this via the website. So you can click on all these items yourself and it will remain, when you click on the website, it will remain there for a little bit longer so that you can uh, explore the uh, each of these uh, design feature highlights in a little bit more depth. But um, what I'd like to do now is just move on. And and these are some, uh, some wise words from our head of global sales, Peter Stranick. And I won't read this out to you, but I'll give you a few minutes just to digest that information. And moving on, we actually have some, uh, which I think I will read out because this is from, uh, this has come from Hubert Schwartz, who we know very well over at Schofler uh, GmbH um, and this company. And in particular, Hubert has done a lot of, uh, a lot of testing of the ZR for us, and they uh, they actually run uh, two of these machines in tandem. And basically, Hubert has actually mentioned, you know, these are the three most important advantages of the ZR for 
for Huber and for Schofler. So, you know, number one, versatility. The unit can shred both large and coarse non-ferrous metals and composites. Number two, fast, easy and efficient cleaning and maintenance. Number three, low energy consumption. Compared to other manufacturers, what Hubert found is that Schofler was saving up to 70,000 euro in energy costs a year as a result of using the ZR. And as you can see, you know, like many of our globally acclaimed uh, unfer shredders, um, we have some uh, some key general points that apply to the supply of all our worldwide renowned waste machines. The ZR is uh, is obviously supplied with Unthogenius. Then this is uh, Unthogenius is the condition monitoring system and analytical system which provides operators with access to their shredders performance data. And this is in real time from any device, whether this is on your laptop, whether this is on your mobile device, but you can get all the information on how your, your ZR is running in real time on any of those devices. Um, there are separate um, brochures available on Genius, which are available again directly after the webinar. We also have a range of flexible finance options available for customers who prefer to spread the cost of their investment. And these finance packages include um, typical I purchase, fixed term rental, on or off the balance sheet. Um, and we can work through the numbers with you, whether you're applying for an investment grant or building a business case for an internal stakeholder sign off. This is this offers a particularly popular help in hand for organizations who think only about the initial price tag of their investment and soon find themselves struggling to afford high maintenance machines with expensive wear parts and sky eye fuel consumption. We even have a free white paper available to help operators calculate the savings they can generate by purchase, purchasing an electrically driven shredder. Not least because the subsidies for red diesel are now about to be scrapped. And I think the um, we've all seen about the uh, the red diesel fuel subsidy, which is being phased out um, from April of this year. So for those um, those plant operators and uh, and shredder equipment operators that are typically driving or or using diesel driven machines, there will be a massive on cost. And the ZR electrically driven machine may just be the solution for you to keep those costs down. And we know this is an important investment for any business, which is why we offer the ultimate try before you buy experience. Now, what is try before you buy? Well, you can experience our shredders processing your own materials on your site. And to make that happen, just give us a call and we can uh, we can get that arranged for you. So we're actually going to now this is uh, just before we go into some questions and that. We're now going to run this um, this uh, short infographic, which I think is very useful. So you're looking at uh, for pioneering technology for core shredding applications. Then the ZR class might be just what you need. Thanks to its innovative drive concept, the ZR is a highly economical two shaft shredder with the lowest life cycle costing in its class. Based on the tried and tested XR class, the Unther engineers developed this high performance primary reducer. Its slow running ripper cutting system ensures problem free shredding of your materials. And with its robust machine construction, the ZR is suitable for tough, continuous operation. It reliably shreds domestic, bulky, and industrial waste, waste wood, mixed construction waste, bowels, and much more. It is also suitable for processing scrap metal, white goods, and electronic waste. The benefits are clear. The Unfair Eco Power Drive keeps energy costs to a minimum. The cutting chamber is easy and quick to clean in case of a change of material. Maintenance is efficient and straightforward. The cutting table and the cutting shafts can be exchanged within one hour. And the cutting shafts run independently of one another, thereby ensuring 
perfect material breakdown. For even more flexibility, the primary reducer is also available in the mobile version. It comes with Umphigenius, the condition monitoring system for more productivity. All that and much more makes our primary reducer a reliable powerhouse that pays for itself, hard wearing and cost efficient. So take the opportunity of trying out the ZR on your premises and you can contact us on www.umpha.com slash ZR demo. So in closing this presentation, I would like to thank everybody for taking the time to attend. I hope the information provided has been of benefit when you embark on your next primary shredding equipment purchase. So without further ado, any questions? Thank you, Gary. There are a couple of questions already. So for people who haven't answered, asked anything that they would like to, please use the chat box on the right hand side. So um, a few questions to begin with, Gary. Um, this question comes up time and again um, when we tackle the subject of waste shredders. Static or mobile, how, how do operators go about deciding which is the right machine for them? Um, typically, when we're looking at the two variants, static or mobile, um, most um, companies that are looking at static equipment, and especially in talking about the ZR here, um, the ZR, as we know, is, is typically a primary reducer, so used at the very front of any particular system. So static supply would, would normally be when we are or when we have um, a range of up or downstream equipment to to marry up to that machine. So in statics, we are bulk reducing that material and then running through that stream, whether it be onto ancillary conveying equipment into flip flow, um, screening equipment, trommels, um, so that we're then re completely refining the product. When we tend to use mobile equipment, this is where we have um, particular uh, footprint problems where we don't have the space available or where the customer needs to move the machine from one location on a single site, maybe at the bottom end of the yard to the top of the yard, or indeed they may actually purchase the shredder that they then want to rent out to other customers. That means they can drive the mobile machine up onto a, a low loader and then deliver that to site where the, uh, where the waste um, can be processed at source. Thank you, Gary. Um, another customer um, has asked here, they, they know the XR well, and, and they've said in inverted commas, it's become famous for its application flexibility. Do we have that same application versatility with the ZR? Absolutely. I mean, the, the ZR is based upon all of that knowledge and experience and innovation that we've learned from the, uh, you know, from the XR range of machines. On the ZR range of machines, we use, we still use the, um, the eco drive system, all the superstructure of the equipment is, is still manufactured basically in the same way. It's just that the technology is slightly different to be able to, to process the higher throughputs of that really difficult, unshreddable, bulky waste. Um, and on that bulky waste, because there's a very specific question here, can the ZR really shred something as large and tough as a washing machine? Yeah, absolutely. Quite, uh, I mean, for the guys that managed to come along to the, um, the the showcase that we had back in autumn of 21 we actually did a fairly um a fairly extended trial on processing uh, washing machines and dishwashers and we didn't mess about just dropping one dishwasher or washing machine into the shredding cutting chamber at any one time i mean there were several of these items in the chamber so absolutely 110 percent can shred white goods, LDAs, all day long as part of that bulky waste process stream. Which bulky waste, Gary, because there's a question here about bulky waste, which, which bulky waste do you think is, is the most exciting application for the ZR? Which, which do you think it has the, the biggest potential to disrupt in terms of market innovation? Yeah, we have got, um, you know, the way that the uh, the ZR actually operates, we can take in pretty much, you know, any any item that you would normally see turn up as bulky waste. Now, those bulky waste items may consist of mattresses, you know, and in their own variant, mattresses could be singles all the way up to super king size mattresses. Um, we're looking at tyres, and these are all the way from car tyres all the way up to agricultural tyres, and even some 
um, some off the road tires as well, some OTRs. Um, we're looking at large, oversized, bulky furniture, such as the uh, the big divans and corner units. So, you know, pretty much anything that you may may have processed in the past as being bulky, and you may you may have used a a grab or a front end loader to pre, pre break this material. All of this material can go straight into the ZR and volume reduce that to the uh, the sub 300 mil product size. Thank you. Um, there's a question here, less about the machine per se and more about um, the, the maintenance of it. So the question here is, do you see machines like the ZR typically maintained by customers' own engineers or by the UNTA team? Well, what we've tried to do here is because, again, you know, when we look at the global framework, I mean, some of these machines are going into, into very remote locations. So what we always try to do is Yes, while we, I mean, it's all part of the bit of the the business that we want to offer the support and the maintenance and the service and the spare part spare parts package to customers. But at the same time, the way that we've designed, developed, and innovated this equipment, it's also easy enough for the customer to work on as well. So you know, this is not we have to do it. We absolutely would love to do it, but in those remote locations where. Perhaps, you know, we can't get you as quickly or as easily as you would like to do. These machines are pretty uh, are pretty straightforward to maintain with your own team. Thank you. There's a question here. Um, again, it's application specific this time about waste wood. And um, what would the typical throughputs for waste wood shredding be on the ZR, Gary? Well, um, one of those unusual throughput, very emotive questions. Um, it really depends on what type of wood we're shredding, whether it's A, B or C grade uh, wood waste um, or whether it's some other type of bulky wood waste. But typically, when we are processing wood, we are looking in the region of, of anywhere between that 40 to 70 ton per hour um, band. Thank you. Um, one of our guests today has asked, what's involved in a trial? How do we go about organising it and what could we expect? Very easy. We have um, we have a team um, which is led by. Um, in, in the first instance, um, you would uh, you would ring ring me up. We uh, we have a team, a demonstration team. Uh, the team is headed up by our applications engineer Dave Knowles, and the the process is that you know I will uh, I will come to site. We would meet up. Uh, we will have the initial primary discussion. What you're looking for. What you want to achieve. What waste you want to process. Um, once I've got that, that, all that information, I then hand over to the demonstration team, team which uh, Dave will then follow up with a very in-depth uh, site visit. And from that site visit, what, we'll, what he will do is produce a, uh, a full RAMS so that um, the customer knows what we're going to be processing, the material uh, sizing that, um, that we're going to achieve, and the throughput that's going to be achieved as well. We also advise on the power requirements to run the machine. Um, pretty much we make it as painless um, as possible. So we pretty much take care of everything. Typically these trials last for a full week because we feel at UNFA, um, that that gives the customer you know, a, a true shred test, a, a true trial period um, for a good, a good range of their waste. So uh, yeah, pretty easy, get in touch. Thank you. A question here, again, quite application specific. <clears throat> Excuse me. We hear a lot about single step shredding, particularly in the waste to energy market. Do you think there is still a market for a pre shredder? Oh, absolutely. I mean, when we start to look at single step shredding, typically these materials, we are we are looking at taking, you know, a fairly whole large product size down to a, a relatively small nominal product size. The problem that we have in trying to achieve that is we will always um, the throughput will suffer the smaller the product size the less throughput on any shredding equipment not just our own what we use the uh, the zr for is to keep those uh, to keep those throughput levels and volumes up so you know with the pre-shredding of the material with the primary reducer we're knocking that that item down to a nominal product size at, at very high throughputs that then allows secondary equipment to do their job. So yes, I do believe that sing there is still a, a place for single step shredding, uh, but obviously more and more as uh, we have demands on increased throughput. And not only that, you know, with single step shredding, we have to be mindful of some of the some of the rogue products that we get um, in that waste stream. 
Um, although our machines, whether it be single or primary shredding, can handle those potential unshreddables, um, you know, the primary reducer will will see that product that much quicker um, and then obviously not pass any unshreddables further down or upstream. Thank you. There's a question here about we, Gary. Um, would you typically be recommending the two shaft shredder for e-scrap or the four shaft shredder? Um, for we scrap, um, and with within the we within the we scrap framework, and I'm, I'm not mentioning e scrap at the moment because it's slightly different. But within the we scrap framework, that would include SDAs and LDAs. Now, if we want eye volume to knock that down to purely a sub 300 mil product size, then yes, we could use the the primary reducers, the ZRs to perform that task. Typically what happens though with we scrap, it's normally very highly um, IT based material. And a lot of we will contain a lot of precious metals. So we would tend to use a four shaft shredder for correctly sampling that product because with the four shaft shredder, a lot of we scrap processors need to get that material down to sub 25 mil um, in order to release the precious metals that are in there. Thank you. Unto Genius, you mentioned that in one of your penultimate slides. Is the data available in Unto Genius to benefit the operator or can your own engineers at, at Unto use that data as well, Gary? Absolutely, it's there. It's there. The whole the, the the emphasis on, on Genius is it's there to benefit the owner and the operators. Now, of course, as, a, as part of, of, uh, of achieving that end result, our own engineers and our own service and maintenance teams have access to that information as well. So, you know, with Genius, you know, you can, you can run Genius, you can dial in to look at what your machine's doing on your laptop, on your mobile phone, or any other media bearing device that, that, you, the, that you have. You can see what the machine's doing. You can see the rotor speeds. You can see the oil temperatures, and you know you have the ability to you know analyze exactly what's going on with that machine. But absolutely, fully available to all of the customers, and and just as available to our own engineering uh, teams as well. Thank you. We're on the final question now. So if anyone does have anything else they want to ask, please use the chat panel before we wrap up. And the final question, Gary, relates to your mention of the red diesel subsidy. How will the removal of that subsidy affect the operation of Hunter's Shredders? Personally, I think it's I think it's substantial because you know we have been very fortunate at Hunter for for now several years, pretty much 10 years now. Uh, we've been developing, innovating and manufacturing the uh, the electrically driven machines. You know, and and we've done that for a reason because you know we have such you know the the design teams that we have within Antha, you know, could pretty much you know I'm not saying they can uh, you know that they're, they're time travellers that that can see into the future, but these guys pretty much knew that at some point this diesel issue was was going to start to bite, and in the UK with the removal of the uh, the red diesel subsidy. From April, I, I think you know plant operators, especially shredder and waste operators, are, are going to see such an increase in in the cost to run those directly driven diesel machines. So I, I think it's um, I, I think it's something that that you know our customers need to be looking at, and everybody in in our industry needs to be looking at on uh, on on those costs. Thank you. And sorry, I, I um, promised we were done, but we've got another question here, and it's a good one. Does the Unter ZR have the same protection features as the XR3000 when it comes to heavy contamination, foreign objects, and so on? Yeah, absolutely. In fact, because the um, because the ZR is a two shaft shredder rather than a single shaft shredder, um, it behaves a, a little bit better, if I could say that, because when we have a single shaft shredder operating and we get the approach to overload um on that potentially unshreddable product uh the rotor obviously will stop and go into reverse so during that reversal period on a single shaft shredder we're out of production with the zr because we have the two shafts and they're both independently controlled we may only get an unshreddable or a loading on one set of shafts 
So that one one shaft will go into reverse, and the other one is still driving in the forward uh, forward motion. So we're still we're still shredding in its sort of normal plane. But in addition to that, we actually cut on the backstroke as well. So even if one or both shafts go into reversal, because we've got a forward reversal, when they when they clear the potential unshreddable in the in the centre of the cutting chamber, we are still cutting, breaking open, pierce and liberating the material on that reverse cycle. Thank you, Gary. That was really helpful. There are no more questions, so we can wrap up now. Just wanted to thank everybody for attending today. You've been really participative, some, some fantastic questions. So thank you. I'm sure that's been of help to everyone who has attended. You will receive a copy of the slides um, in a couple of hours for you to um, listen back and, and, and hear Gary's narrative and, and go through everything at your own pace. But of course, if you have any further questions, please don't hesitate to contact us. Gary's details are all actually in the footer of the slide as well, if you want to go to him directly. Gary, do you want to have the final the final word? Yeah, Katie, once again, many thanks for, um, you know, the introduction in, in, in closing the webinar there. Um, everyone out there, really appreciate all your time and effort. I know it's valuable these days. Uh, but thank you very much. I hope that it's not been uh, it's been too painful for you or too onerous. And uh, hey, guys, you know where I am, so you can either uh, ring me, text me, email me. I'm there for you. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye.